so hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video and in this video i'll be solving problem c that was madoka and formal statement from round 818 that was a tip 2 uh, i will also make a video on problem d so stay tuned for that as well so let's solve problem c let me open my drawing pad so in the problem uh, we have been given two arrays of size n we have been given size n where n is around 10 to the power 5 and 10 to the power 5 and we have been given two arrays a and b right we have been given two arrays a and b so a1 a2 a3 so on up to an and similarly b1 b2 b3 and so on up to pn uh we also have been given an operation right Uh, in one operation, what we can do is, if AI is less than equal to AI plus one, we can add one to AI. We can add one to AI. So we can change AI equal to AI plus one. And the array is cyclic, right? And uh, you can assume the array A to be cyclic. So you can do the same thing for A and and A one, right? So if A n is less than equal to A one, you can add one to A n. So you can do A n is equal to A n plus one, right? So the array is cyclic. So you can do the following operation. So this is the operation. If a i is less than equal to a i plus one, you can add one to a i. And the problem asks to answer in either yes or no. If it is possible to form array b from array a after applying any number of operations, right? So want to you want to answer in either yes or no. If you can form array b, uh, array b can be formed. Can be formed. From array A, after some operations, after some operations. So that is the problem. I hope the problem is clear. So you have been given an array A. Uh, you can do some operations, and you have to tell in either yes or no if it is possible to form array B uh, from array A after applying some operations. So that is the problem. So we will to solve this, right? So let's move on to the solution. So as a solution, we will try to find the impossible cases. We will try to find the impossible cases, right? In impossible cases, the answer will be no, and otherwise the answer will be yes. Otherwise, the answer is equal to yes, right? So these are the only cases. So we will try to find the impossible cases, and for them, the answer will be no. Otherwise, the answer will be yes. So how can we find the impossible cases? So There are only two impossible cases, and I will list them out, and it will make sense to you guys, right? So as you see, we have only been given addition operations, right? We have only been given addition operations because you can change a i equal to a i plus one, right? So the first impossible cases, the first impossible cases that let's say your a i is greater than b i, right? What can you do in the following case? If your a i is already bigger than b i. and you only have been given addition operations right you cannot like subtract from ai then you can never make ai equal to bi in this case you can never make ai equal to bi uh, and that means you can never make array a equal to array b right so the answer is directly no in this case so this is the first impossible case when if you if at any index your ai is your ai is more than bi then you can like never make ai equal to bi right that makes sense hopefully So that is the first impossible case, and if we list out the second impossible case, second impossible case, for this we will uh, we will think about two indexes. We will think about two indexes. Let's say you have two indexes somewhere. Let's call it a i minus one, and let's say a i, and similarly you have been given uh, b i minus one and b i, right? So let's say you applied some operations and your AI is equal to BI now. Your AI is equal to BI, now, right? Because that's your mission, right? You want to make all the elements in array A equal to array B. So let let's say you applied some operations and you were able to make AI, uh, AI equal to BI, right? So that is the max value that AI can have, right? Maximum value of AI can be equal to BI. That is the maximum value that you can have. similarly right now you have your ai minus 1 right if your ai minus 1 is not equal to bi minus 1 right if these values are not already equal you want to apply operations to ai minus 1 right 
so to make ai minus 1 equal to bi minus 1 if they are not equal already you want to apply operation on ai minus 1 so up to how much can you apply operations up to how much can you apply operations so you can apply operations until ai minus 1 is less than equal to ai right and as you have already seen the maximum value of ai is how much the maximum value of ai is equal to bi so if we can replace ai with bi here right we can replace ai with bi so you can say we can apply operations until ai minus 1 is less than up to bi right so we can do ai minus 1 is equal to ai minus 1 plus 1 while ai minus 1 is less than equal to bi so what will so what will be the max value of ai minus 1 so if like it is easy to see that maximum value of ai minus 1 maximum value of ai minus 1 is equal to how much is equal to bi plus 1 right because when your value of ai minus 1 will reach reach to bi plus 1 you cannot apply the operation anymore right so in the end you will have bi plus 1 and here you will have bi minus 1 and here you will have bi and here you will have bi as well right so at the end you just you just need to check if your bi plus 1 if your bi plus 1 is sufficient that it is greater than or equal to bi minus 1 right if it is not if your bi plus 1 is less than bi minus 1 sorry bi minus it is the index right then you can never reach then you can never reach this value right then the answer is impossible because it is the maximum value that you can have you, uh, the maximum value that you can get is bi plus 1 right and if your bi plus 1 is not enough to reach bi minus 1 then you can never like make your value of ai minus 1 equal to bi minus 1 right so that is the second impossible case so the second impossible case is when your bi plus 1 is less than bi minus 1 right and it is the case when your ai minus 1 is not equal to bi minus 1 right then, then, then it means that whatever you add to ai minus 1 the maximum value that you can have is bi plus 1 and it is not enough to reach bi minus 1 right so the answer is no in this case also so these are the only two impossible cases and the answer is otherwise yes so let me write it out as a summary so as a summary if your uh, impossible cases if your ai is greater than bi the answer is no if your ai minus 1 is not or you can say if your ai is not equal to bi and uh, your bi plus 1 plus 1 is less than uh, bi then the answer is no also right so these are the two impossible cases otherwise the answer is yes right so that is the problem and that is the solution so if you want to see the code for this uh, here is the code so i take my variable n uh, i take two vectors a and b and uh, i will then iterate over the elements and if a i is greater than b i that is my first impossible case the answer is no so i will just return false otherwise if ai is not equal to bi right if ai is not equal to bi and bi plus 1 uh, is less than bi right that is bi i plus 1 plus 1 is less than bi then the answer is no so that is the second case otherwise the answer is yes right so that is the solution and if you guys have a doubt uh, feel free to join my discord server i will be more than happy to answer you guys uh, answer your doubts there and I will also make a solution for problem D. So stay tuned for that as well. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Also, if you guys don't know, Continue Newton School is offering a full stack development course. The course is uh, over six months long and it is totally based on pay after placement model. And you don't have to pay anything. There is zero hidden fees, there is zero upfront fees, and they are granting you a minimum package of rupees five lakhs. And the average package is rupees 7 lakhs and the highest package is over rupees 26 lakhs. So it is a very great opportunity. 
also all their mentors are from top mncs like google flipkart zomato etc also they will get you placed into the top mncs as well like google flipkart zomato uh, so uh, you can learn from the mentors that are working at those companies and you can land a job at those companies yourselves also you don't need to worry if you guys think ki yaar mujhe coding aati nahi hai maybe fresher mein koi bilkul nahi aata the course is over 6 months long and they will teach you from scratch so you can still sign up for this and if you guys are looking for a career in the tech field this is a very uh, this is a very great head start that you should sign up for and if you uh, want to land a job i highly uh, i highly vouch for this and uh, if you guys want to sign up there will be link down below and you can go and sign up from there so yeah you know, be sure to sign up for this and i will see you in the next video bye bye